Chapter 8 The Painted Feeling My grandpapa lives in a wonderful house with a great many windows and doors. There are stairs that go up and stairs that go down and such beautiful slippery floors. But of all the rooms, even mother's and mine, and the book room and parlor and all, I like the green dining room so much the best because of its ceiling and wall. Right over your head is a funny round hole with apples and pears falling through. There's a big bunch of grapes, all purply and sweet, and melons and pineapples too. They tumble and tumble, but never come down, though I've stood underneath a long while. With my mouth open wide, for I always have hoped, just a cherry would drop from the pile. No matter how early I run there to look, it was always begun to fall through. And one night when at bedtime I crept in to see, it was falling by candlelight too. I am sure they are magical fruits, and each one makes you hear things or see things or go. Forever invisible, but it's no use, and of course I shall just never know. For the ladder's too heavy to lift, and the chairs are not nearly so tall as I need. I've given up hope and I feel I shall die without having accomplished the deed. It's a little bit sad when you seem very near to adventures and things of that sort, which nearly begin and then don't and you know it is only because you are short.